Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for November 22. Even if you don't pick up any of these, it's still great to look at them to see if they inspire you to build something. Just watching some of these assets is enough to fire up my imagination. I can immediately picture all of the kinds of games that I could build. This one is a list of paid assets and effects. I've already made two videos covering the best free new assets and the best tools and systems. As always, there's links to the assets in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MAKI10 to get 10% off your order. And today is Cyber Monday, which means Black Friday is coming to a close. If there's anything you need for your games, then this is the last chance. The Unity S Store added some more tools and assets on sale today. The Synthi sale continues with their gorgeous low poly style. And if you want to learn Blender, there's a humble bundle at 98% off. So if you need anything, now's the time to get it. Alright, so starting off with an excellent survival horror animation pack. This one features over 250 animations, all of them in three modes, so you've got healthy, damaged and near death. There's over 60 animations of the character getting hit, that almost sounds way too excessive, so this animation pack would be perfect for any kind of survival horror game. Next here's some gorgeous looking lizards, really awesome models, very unique style, there's lots of colors, lots of spikes. This could be your enemies in some kind of Turok inspired game. If you need some VFX, here's a huge pack. There's lots of fire, liquids, auroras, smoke, explosions and more, in total over 270 effects, all in tons of colors to signify whatever you want. Then here's a pack with some super high quality knights, really intricate, really high end models, features various weapons you can use, and even the knight itself has some variations to make it sort of demon-like, all with a humanoid ray so it's all ready to be animated. If you're building some strategy or management game, you can easily add some polish with some click effects. All of them look really nice, very satisfying, with lots of color variation. There are some that would be perfect for movement, a bunch for attacks, pings, selections and a bunch more. And by the way, just a quick plug, if you want to polish your game even further, you can check out my own Mouse Cursor System Pro. Having a custom cursor and some satisfying click effects will definitely help your game stand out. And up next we have the latest Synthi pack. There are actually three new packs, they are all about making environments. There's a forest, a jungle and a swamp. All of them in their signature style, so if you have a large world with some low poly assets, you can use these to make the world feel quite a bit more alive. Speaking of that, as you might know, I'm currently working on my own Steam game called Total World Liberation. One key feature about the game is that it's a large open world, and I'm already using Synthi assets, so I'll definitely be using these packs to bring that large world to life. If you need some shield effects for a game, then check out this pack. You've got some circular shields, some barriers, some auras. The effects also include events, so you can trigger the start, hit and end effects. And of course you can easily change the colors or the size of any of these effects. Next if you need some cute desert monsters, look at this one. All of them have faces, so this would be perfect for a cute Pokemon like. And if you like this style, then this dev has a bunch more. If you need some handgun animations, this is a huge pack. It features tons and tons of animations, all of them focused on holding a pistol. So this is the kind of pack that would be absolutely perfect for a character action game, kind of like Devil May Cry. If all you need is a single super high quality mech model, check out this one. It's a great looking sci-fi model, features 4K textures with the albedo, metallic maps and more. It's all rigged and animated with 17 nice animations. Then here we have some nice city ruins in a cartoony style. Lots of greenery, so it looks suitable for a post-apocalypse, but a very serene one. Buildings are modular, so you can mix and match to get tons of variation. Next up, this one is more of a tool than really a visual asset. It lets you create any type of road. Features some really impressive customization. You can add all kinds of dashes, lines, colors and arrows. So if your game has roads, then just this pack will let you build an entire country. If your game has swords, then this pack will help you make them special. You can add all kinds of orders to your sword to signify whatever you want. There's obviously some fire, electricity and all the basics, but also some very unique ones. Next, if you're doing a Doom-like and you need an insanely detailed demon, check out this one. It's got a really impressive amount of detail, 4K textures and it comes with 5 unique skins. Then if your game features a dystopia, check out this one. The models definitely look very dystopian, kind of like Metro but a little bit more sci-fi, it's a really interesting style. Features 2 soldiers, a pilot and a huge mech. Then for something more jolly, here's a nice steampunk mech. Really nice style, pretty cute round robot. Comes with some animations and 4 skins. Up next here's a really nice looking car. This one is stylized, definitely looks a little bit squished, which I think actually makes it look pretty cute. 
It has no interiors or separate doors, but it does have some very well modeled brake calipers, headlights, wheels, and engine. And of course, it comes with multiple color variations. Then, if your game has character portraits or some kind of cards, you can make them look really fancy with this frames pack. They have various levels, from very simple to extremely ornate, so these would be great for denoting some kind of rarity or specialness. If you need tons of cute, boxy cars, check out this one. Features lots of cars, trucks and vans, and a whole bunch of city parts. And if you need a really corporate looking convention setting, check out this one. This could be a fun level in your game, definitely has a very corporate feel, everything is white and shiny. Alright, so those are my top 20 new assets on the Unity Asset Store for November 22. There's a link to all in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.